a low ELO legend rematch. We just finished a game between these two. We have smart, strong, and fun, who is very wholesome, very kind, and loves food in the red, playing as the Lithuanians, just like in the previous game. Guys. And then in the blue, we have Mare, who went for a ram rush in Feudal Age with the Kumans in the previous game and won. Now, when that happened, Smart, Strong, and Fun was very nice and said, well played. And also dropped an oops in there with a little smiley face. So, very wholesome interactions. Seconds later, they queue up for another game. They're not done for the night. And who do they get? Each other. But now, they have some idea of how they play this. Like, I think for Red, he's certainly going to avoid the TC. <laughs> um, and for Red, like, what he might do is he might expect those rams. So I'll keep an eye on things here. Scout very close to Blue's TC here from Red. That's playing with fire. <gasps> oh my. Oh my. Oh my. No way, dude. He just killed four goats. And Blue is out of food underneath the TC. Smart, strong, and fun. I thought you were better than that. I thought you were a nice, wholesome player. And he... <laughs> Blue... Didn't even say anything to him <laughs> or react. Holy crap, man. And on this map too, like we talked about, <laughs> we talked about how you can run out of food on this map. Holy cow. And blue now says 11. We are playing together again. That's what you're laughing about. I guess it takes you a little bit of time to realize what's going on in these games. And Red says, yes, good luck, have fun with the little with the little face. Dude, you can't hit him with the good luck, have fun after you took out four goats. And does Blue even know? This is all live, by the way. This is not scripted. Unless, of course, you're watching later in video form, in which case, thank you and like the video. What? I don't even think Blue knows. Blue has not shown me in any way that he's aware that he just lost four goats under his TC. Okay, meanwhile over here, remember Red's problem last time was he he was too heavy on the food. So I'm hoping what he does here is he is a little bit more balanced so we can make a lumber camp and a mill. <laughs> the face, the smiley face in Red's messages is so like... <laughs> you know what What really gets me about his, his little smiley face is the nose. I would just do the normal smiley face, but he adds in the nose. It adds so much more life to his gameplay. But holy, man. And what Blue needs to do is Blue needs to be... Blue needs to go Lumber Camp here instead of Mill. Okay, he'll do both. Okay, that's good. Lumber Camp, because you need more wood to be able to mill this. That's the only way you recover here. Now, I want to explain uh, how Red was able to do that in case people are unaware. Here's Red with the barracks now. Before a lumber camp, because, you know, this can't be a normal game for us. Um, so what typically happens, let's say you have a, let's say this relic was a goat, okay? And I go up to that with my scout. It's going to change to my color when I'm within range of it. And that's, that's how it happens. Goats will change sides depending on what units are close. But let's say I'm, I'm blue, or no, I'm red, and the relic is currently belongs to blue, and blue has a villager here eating the other goats, like just it just happened. It will stay with the current owner unless the current owner leaves that distance. So that's why you're able, he was able to attack it there. You're only able to attack and kill sheep if they're within that distance. That way it doesn't change ownership. So otherwise, it'll just change to your side and say, yo, eat me. And here comes Red. <laughs> oh my God. He's got militia and he's got villagers. And he's going to place a mill. On Blue's food! As if he didn't take enough of the person's food anyways. And what the... Uh, hello? Hello? What? Is he gonna attack or is he gonna eat or both here? I am very, very concerned for Blue right now. Um, but Blue doesn't have loom. So the militia are gonna do work. The scout's also gonna help. Now Red's villagers, they're gonna fight. And red also has loom, so red can actually do damage here. And blue's like, oh crap, I guess I could use that upgrade as well as blue gets loom. And red's like, these are my berries now. These are not yours, these are mine. I mean, you can fight that back if you're blue. 
<laughs> or you can farm or go over here and take the ostrich. Th those are your choice. Your two choices, sorry. Wow, what a crazy game. Meanwhile, back at home, he still doesn't have a lumber camp. This player's crazy. I think this player is a new legend. I mean, I know this game is going to be content. But in terms of how Red plays and interacts and talks, is very unique. His strategy is starve the enemy of food on a map where there's not a lot of it. Now, if you wanted to really be perfect with this strategy, I think you could go over here and you could kill the ostrich as well, so they decay away. But, um... But Blue hasn't really said anything. He's lost five eco in this game. And he, he, he just said, we're playing each other again 11, and that was it. Wait, what? Don't delete your TC. Do not delete your TC. Where? What are you doing? Uh, what? Oh my god, okay. I have an idea. I think... He's going to town center drop the enemy here. So long. He has enough <laughs> resources to be able to make a TC, but you can only make a TC in Dark Age if you delete your starting TC. So I think he's kind of sick of the fact that Red is at his base, so he's just going to try and take Red's base, and he's going to delete his starting TC and walk forward and TC drop Red. And he's like, fine, I'll take your berries. How do you like it? <laughs> what? Can Red see this? <laughs> Meanwhile, these villagers, they are going to drop off the farms at the mill. The thing is, I don't even think this TC can range and shoot down Red's TC. I just think he wants the berries. Um, so he's like, okay, I live here now. <laughs> um... And now watch, Red's got to go home now because there's no resources and he's got to, he's going to see the berries and he's going to be like, well, crap, we've been bested. I was going to do that. God, I would laugh so hard if Red deletes this town center. <laughs> I would laugh so hard if Red deletes this town center. He just can't do it while he's on the way to feudal because that would be a waste. This really, like, <laughs> there's different ways you should probably play this, guys. You shouldn't do it like this, but... What's he gonna do? Tower, maybe? I think he's trying to build a TC, a tower. Okay, that's the smart play. Tower is the smart play. <laughs> blue is just stuck here. And blue garrisons the town center, so we'll shoot some of this stuff, but I mean, there's no way blue can ever go feudal. Actually, he can shoot the tower down. Wait a second, this just got more interesting. That tower will melt fairly quickly here. Not to mention the villagers from Red, and the fact that Red doesn't have anything on food right now. Can Blue win this game? He's got working farmers and working lumberjacks. The tower will get shot down. Blue might, or Red might not know what to do against this. The key here for Blue is continue to create villagers. As it stands, yes, Red is in feudal, but Red can't do anything with feudal. We don't see any feudal age units or any eco units, so it doesn't matter. Don't let that get into your head here. So you need to stay in Dark Age, continually produce villagers, and the best thing that you can do is probably Vil Rush, to be honest. The red's going to go over here and probably make a mining camp so we can get stone. And this is a crazy game. Now I don't know where the villagers are going or what the villagers are doing. What are you? Where are you going? What are you doing? Red, did you see the stone? Do you want the stone? Do you okay? You want the stone? All right, we got some farms on this side. Blue is actually saving up for feudal age, I believe, which I I believe is a mistake because you're already six vills behind and an age behind. Staying an age behind if your vill count somewhat even is probably the better play. But it's they're they're seven hundred elo. I mean, how are they gonna? They're not gonna see the game like like me, right? And certainly, Red, I think, is going to try probably go for more towers. But at least Blue will be in a position to maybe make rams again. Now, here's the tricky thing about making rams in Feudal Age with Cumans. For whatever freaking reason, you need to have a blacksmith before you make a siege workshop in Age of Empires. Which is 150 wood, and then 200 wood just to get the building you need. And then, rams are like 130 wood, 70-something gold. 
and then you probably need military. You're basically not going to have the eco to make rams, or many of them, if you're blue. But I would love for it to work. It would be so funny. The red has some on stone, but also has some on gold, and we see an archery range now. Now, what you could also do is you can make a second TC in Feudal Age. You don't have to go for rams. And it's actually easier and more realistic to make a second TC in the Feudal Age if you're blue. That would be an epic play. So you could use these villagers that won't have a job anyways and drop a TC. And then red would have to make a tower or use archers or something. Now these TCs range each other right now. So I mean you could already be TC warring if you wanted to. At 18 minutes, blue's in feudal. And he's making a TC at home. Okay. I don't hate this for his economy. If he can manage it, he's probably going to have red distracted. And red's going to focus here. And then if he can pump out Vils back at home, which red won't expect, maybe this is fine. But yeah, he's going to try and do what he can't afford. He's going to try and go Rams too. Which is just like, it just won't work. <laughs> He doesn't have anything on wood right now. He will eventually, and then he needs gold as well. Oh my god, what a crazy game. Well, red is doing the right thing. Um, I think red probably should be towering, like here and maybe here as well. Um, and making a few archers would also make sense, but keeping the farms out of harm's way, saving up some resources. This is all fine. And yeah, it, there we would have that tower. Blue, his villagers are in no man's land right now. So if that tower goes up, it's even it's even worse for him. <laughs> but yeah, he will have wood income. Then you have to wait for the siege workshop. It's just too expensive. Oh wait, he notices this and he's going to make his own tower. Okay, well that's fine then. That's fine. In fact, if he were to rush this tower down with a few vills and garrison his tower, red could maybe stay here too long and lose a few vills. Let's see. Garrison. Rush it. There you go. Let's see if red stays here or if red leaves. Red needs to bail because this is going to get bad pretty quickly if his villagers eject underneath here. Okay, there you go. Now, blue could make more towers. That'd be really sick, but he doesn't have the res yet. 26 vils versus 30. Red clearly wants to go castle age. But there's still a lot of time until that would ever happen. I mean... If Blue knew there was a mining camp here, he should walk right here and drop a tower. This is this would be the play. No, don't repair the TC! No, don't repair the TC! Okay. Actually, I think that was a bug. I think he tried to drop off resources by right-clicking to the TC, and that also will repair the TC. Okay, there's tower number one. Red's gonna see this. Red is on the way up. Red could easily lose Vils. And we still don't have the wood for the siege workshop yet. Blue is very much focused on the tower rush. He's again repairing the TC, which I think is just because he's trying to drop off stone. And now he's losing all of his wood. Ah! I can't look. Look away. Okay. This is like, I've never had something that gives me so much anxiety be so much fun. <laughs> oh, God. Uh. Well, I think the plan for Red is to drop a castle here. But it feels like if he misplaces it, it could easily be denied by the town center or a tower. Blue continues to, to repair his freaking town center. Repairing a town center is so expensive. Now, this tower, I think, could have come up a long time ago. You're going to start to see these villagers get picked off. Also, this, this could have been garrison, killing villagers faster. And blue wants to get back to the spearmen. And blue wants to get back to the rams again. So he's adding the barracks. Now, red's going to sell wood. Red's probably going to buy stone. Needs to sell a little bit more wood or food. And then buy stone and drop a castle. And if you drop it, you give up on this side. Pull these villagers away, and you drop it here. You drop it here. It shoots a TC down. It protects you. You do have to cut your losses a little bit, but that is the play. Oh, God. That's a lot of vills clicked away. 
But I guess Red doesn't really have a good way of judging it and is worried it could be denied. Now, don't build it too close, please. Do not build it too close to the town center. <laughs> Meanwhile, villagers are getting picked off over here. There we go. Okay. That's a good one. That's a good castle. Now, Blue has to figure out a different game plan. <laughs> And hey, guess what, guys? Blue now has enough resources to be able to make a siege workshop. Hey! <laughs> yeah! Woo! Finally! Oh, it took so long. And so the castle goes up for red. But what sucks for red is that he's not deleting these farms. So I want to I wanna talk about this real quick because you guys probably get tower rushed and you probably lose bills. And you probably get tilted. And yes, that means you just watch more of my videos instead of play more, but I'm here to help, okay? So, when a farm, let's say you have a bunch of farmers, okay? And then you have a bunch of abandoned farms. If a farmer over here finishes a farm, they will not reseed that farm until they finish the available farms. So what's happening here is Red has pulled farmers away from this area already. However, they'll finish a farm and then they'll say, hey, this looks like a good spot. And they go to the farms underneath the towers, okay? So that bothered me for like two years at the start of my career before I realized that. And that's why high-level players will delete their farms. Because they don't want villagers going back. Like, look, you just click this villa over here. And look, they'll go back over here. In this case, because he doesn't have a job. Now, what you could do, if you're red, is you could get the food eco rolling a bit more. And you can make latest. You can also make your own siege, because you're in castle age now. Um, blue has more vills, but blue is still very much forever in feudal age. And I'm not really sure what blue's plan is. Yeah, what I foresee is there's going to be a bunch more villagers heading over to these farms. And red is going to continue to lose vills, and it's going to get really, really painfully bad. As we see another one go down. <laughs> oh, jeez. Can blue survive here? Blue continues to repair this town center. It's 37 pop versus 31. We do have one ram on the way. Another villager goes down on the farms. Oh, and there's more farmers coming over. You see what I mean? They just keep coming over here. <laughs> oh, no. Red could lose this game because of this issue. Oh, no. I need to make a video on this because so many people get tower rushed and they don't realize how many vills they lose. Blue has one ram and four soon to be four spearmen. Oh, thank God that farm was actually finished. Okay, yeah, there's 70 food left on each farm. So if they're able... Oh, oh, wait, Red realized. Okay, Red's deleting them now. Nice. I would normally say that repairing this TC is a waste of resources, but Blue isn't spending his wood on farms anyways. He's just making spearmen and rams. So, yeah. I mean, he's even farming forward! What are these players, man? They're crazy. Why would you farm underneath the town center that is underneath a castle? All right. Well, that was expected. Villager now dead. Farm wasted. A okay, blue is going to ram down the archer range, and he's going to ram down the blacksmith. Red has rams as well, so it'll be a ram off. Um, Blue still has done a decent job creating vills, but it, it's very close game now. And if it's a close game with stats when one person's in Castle Age, typically the Castle Age player wins. That is, if they take advantage of something that's strong in Castle Age. Like, I don't know, Latus. But maybe Red is a little worried about making Latus because Latus is, is a horse unit. And Spearmen do well against those types of units. And if you don't have upgrades, maybe the Spearmen could be enough. I don't know. All right. Um, it's so interesting. The, like on Twitch, we had different bots than the bots here on Facebook. And the thing on Facebook is people, I don't even know if it's bots. They'll just like upload a video to YouTube and then show up to people's Facebook streams and just start posting it for views. <laughs> so don't, don't click any random YouTube links. <laughs> Who knows what the crap that is. But anyways, mods will take care of that for us. And blue is very much focused on this attack. 
I, I think what you need if you're red is you need a couple mangonels, like one or two mangonels, and then you're fine here. But he's going to try and ram down this TC. How on earth did this turn into a game? Here come the rams, 2-2-2. Two, two, two. They're going to go for the blacksmith. He's like, you ram down my blacksmith, I'm going to ram down yours. That's right. I don't know if that's good or not, but he did it to me. So I'm going to do it to him. It's only fair. Down goes the blacksmith. TC still staying up somehow for blue, but it will no longer stay up. And blue just loves taking out red's houses. Which is actually brilliant because red is going to get housed because of this. And if red gets his rams rammed down, no way. I was going to say, if he gets his rams rammed down by blue's ram, and he can't make anything more because he's housed... Okay, there we go. Ram v. Ram action. But now the TC is being rammed. <laughs> uh, I, mean, I mean, both TCs are being rammed. <laughs> oh my god, I want to watch these players all day. I want to do a best of five show match. Let's go. Okay, villagers are fighting back against the Rams. Rams are ramming against the Rams. The Rams are on the move. Ram is down. Ram is on the move. Um, 44 pop versus 49 pop. <laughs> I have no clue what the plan is with man-at-arms, but I'm ready. Red just... Did Red steal a farm? Or did he just click a farmer? Okay, Red sending villagers this way for some reason. Blue's gonna tower there! I guess blue kind of feels like he has red trapped, even though red has a castle. And red's gonna TC drop the tower. Guys, this is live, by the way. This isn't scripted. This is a rematch of a game we just saw, which was already ridiculous. These two are hilarious. And I don't think I'd actually do a show match between these two, because I think the fact that they don't know a bunch of people are watching is probably what makes this good. Okay, Blue's just going to repair this tower now, because that makes a whole lot of sense. We repaired the TC for five minutes that was underneath the castle, so why can't we repair the towers? Blue just continues to ram down the eco and make it as inefficient as possible. He took out a lumber camp a second ago. He's going to go for another house. And Red, not, <laughs> not really in the mood to make latest, apparently. Despite having two relics, which would mean they have plus two attack. Hmm. And then blue has not really created vills in a very, very, very long time. And I think blue is dead. But now blue is going to make a second town center again. And now smart, strong, and fun has sold all the wood. And now has 2,000 gold. And is going to finally take out this ram. What is happening here? Why sell all your wood? Okay, the villagers are sick of the spearmen. They're gonna get they're gonna get battered down now. It's still, I mean, blue still has a slight population lead. Also, I think a monk died to this spearman. Do you see that? I think it would make sense. Red tried to get that relic. Blue is gonna take out this barracks right now. Can't stop. Addicted to the freaking shindig over here, man. Okay, Red doesn't have many working vills. He's very stressed. Is now gonna... Okay, bought some stone. I assume we're gonna see some wood purchased. Okay, you just sold all your wood. That's fine, too. I assume this is for a TC. Yeah, Tell me this TC won't go down. Okay, Red reacts. Like, that's not cool. I need that TC. I just made that. Blue has units in there that will certainly kill some vills. Yeah, but, I mean, all the units will also die to the castle fire. So, it doesn't really matter in the end for Red. A good job from Red. Back inside the TC. Yeah, very well played there. Very well played there. If Blue would just wait for four rams, the TCs would go down. And, and maybe even the castle, but... Okay. He hops out again. It's just one ram. Still underneath the castle. Okay. Same thing happens. Don't know why we're not waiting a little bit more, buddy. But live your life. Blue really needs to just take a moment. And just seed a few farms. Because these five... Oh! Oh my god! Wow! 
Blue just needs to take a moment to put a winning lottery ticket in each and every one of our uh, our pockets. Check your pockets, guys. Okay, I don't have a lottery ticket. I tried for you guys um, because I, I basically spoke that into existence, so I did my uh, I did my best. But we have another TC here for red. Something blue will see. Oh god, that's a mistake. And uh, finally, we see a bit more farming eco for blue. That's been the issue. I, I don't think that blue has the level to produce vills out of both TCs all the time. But, you know, a few more farms and maybe that's doable. I mean, red just really doesn't... Okay, here we go again. Oh, red might actually see the spearman this time. Tell me, tell me, red sees it. No, <laughs> no, not a monk to a spearman. It takes so many hits, so many hits to kill a monk with the spearman. Anyways, red needs to just suck it up and make some latest here. Red might be enjoying this, but make some latest. Sheesh. Wait a second. Just bought. Tons of food. Don't tell me Red's gonna go imp. Do not even think about fast imp here. Just spend those res and clean up the feudal age player and it's game over. There's there's a big chance that you lose this game if you try and go imp. Blue <laughs> Blue is gonna try and take out your town centers. Don't you dare go imp here, Red. No, he's going imp with one military, which is a ram. Guys, hey, wait. if blue takes out that TC, all those resources, well, you do get the resources back, but basically all the time is wasted. But here's the thing. If you spend a thousand food and 800 gold, when you already have the lead, you're in castle age and everything. If you spend those resources on latest or knights and upgrades, you destroy feudal age. It's not even close. Now, Red might be thinking, well, I've got a castle. I can make traps. But yeah, what if Blue rams it down? Closer. Here comes Blue. Yeah, I think Just lost the Spearman over here. And I think Blue has come to the realization that Red is trying to get relics. And he's like, hmm, I don't like that. So here I come. And I'm going to... Is he going to go for houses again? Is he actually going for the houses again? Have to hand it to Blue. He just loves to house the opposition. Time and time again. Ramming down TCs and ramming down houses. Now he's going to go for this archer range. And Red has not quite reacted yet. Because Red is working on other things at the moment. Okay, the villagers now react against the ram. Archer range will go down, but the man-at-arms are going to pop out and kill the vills. More rams are going after houses. This is the rematch of the century. There is a very solid chance that that red will be housed. Red will be in the Imperial Age. He's now getting hill forts, which gives his town centers extra range. What? You never see that tech. Anyways, uh, there's a very good possibility that red will not even have the resources to be able to make a trip. This is this is bad for red. This is not smart, strong, and fun. This is smart, weak, and terrifying is what it is. How is, does blue have a chance right now? He has tons of man-at-arms. He has tons of rams. The man-at-arms are going to pop out here. And they're going to help in this in this little ram war. Yep, there you go. And all the while, Red is like, if only I could afford a trap. And now Red wants to make a trap. Guys, Red is almost housed. We see more houses coming up right now. Feudal Age for Blue. Feudal Age. And Revenge is the best medicine. Ram is the best medicine, apparently. Now... That is thinking, let's go crossbow, because if I go crossbow here, I counter the man-at-arms, which is true in some ways, but Latus, your unique unit, my friend, would also do that. Say goodbye to any relics that you have in here. There's two relics. They're going to disappear. And Blue just needs to commit with these rams, and it's game over. 
We are going to see one of the most unlikely of victories here. What in God's name is this? This is this is GG. This is GG. Here comes the choo-choo. Here comes the choo-choo. Red is freaking out. Red doesn't know what's happening. Red, Red thinks that the Treb is going to be enough to take care of all of this stuff. But just like before, here come the Rams. Imp was the absolute worst decision. I understand the temptation, but it was the worst decision here for Red. And the Rams are going to go for this town center. They might actually take out the town center. I think it would have been better to go for the Treb. But they end up taking out the TC. Red hasn't reacted over here, so the damage is getting done. He's getting his houses rammed down again. And the Treb is going to go down as well. It does go down as well. <laughs> what? Okay, the men at arms, they will eventually die to the castle. Actually, there's no murder holes, so they could technically stay under there. I just love how blue hunts for the house. <laughs> Red is house. <laughs> Red, once again, can't create anything. Doesn't know what to create, but also can't create anything. Oh my god, this is crazy. I... <laughs> I don't know what to think right now. <laughs> I feel so many emotions. Desperate for an archer rate. Oh, that's a that's a barracks. Excuse me. Okay, desperate now. Red's gonna add a barracks. I don't know why exactly, but we'll find out. This archer range could go down soon. The crossbows really should hop out, but there's no blacksmith upgrades because Red's blacksmith got rammed down earlier. Red is just gonna casually make a mill here so he can use the farms. Okay. Um, and now Blue's on the way to Castle Age! Blue is on the way to Castle Age! What a beast! What a god! What a legend! Okay, Red's basically said, man, those man-at-arms are really strong, so let's make some of our own here. Look, man-at-arms and militia queued up. Now, I... I could be wrong, but I still think it is possible for red if red makes a blacksmith again and red just has a little bit of time to breathe here like like if these units we now have the university and i think we all know what that's for um but if these units come out he can't make anything he's housed he's housed i was gonna say if these units came out and clear this then you know maybe you get a counter attack in before blue can do anything but just like before red doesn't have houses and Red has made so many houses that at this point, Red's probably like, well, how am I housed? Look, there's the blacksmith for the blacksmith upgrades. The men in arms still aren't on the way. Blue sees it. No, 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 Red. Don't lose another blacksmith to this crap. Okay, it's the siege workshop. Oh my God, ballistics. Red completely cracked under pressure. Someone just said blue is an evil genius. I don't know if that's the right way to say it. I don't know what to think, but I do know Kumans. They do get Capgram and Castle Age, which is only going to make this problem worse for Red. Red has clearly been overwhelmed for the last however many minutes. But remember, Red took out the... Um, he, he took the goats, and he created this messy game. He created the evil genius that is blue. And we'll have Longsword. We'll have Castle Age Armor on the way. And maybe Captram. Maybe not Captram. But it's 66 pop for the Castle Age player. 31 pop for Red. And Red can't even make the houses over here because the tower's been denying it. This is over, man. What an insane game. And it, on some level, I think as a spectator, people are going to be a little frustrated. But it's the beauty of low elo is, is what... Crazy things happen when the pressure's on, whether it's a good thing or a bad thing. Like, Red is coming to the natural conclusions in some situations, like, crap, I need houses, crap, I need a market. It's just a little bit later than it needs to be. There's an F spelt out in houses here. <laughs> to pay your respects to Red. And now Longsword's are way better than Man-at-Arms. DC will probably go down. I'm just curious now what Red says, if anything. 
Because remember, Red was very chatty. They, they both chatted to each other. That's clearly here. Clearly paying attention to this. Trying. It was an imp when the opponent wasn't feeling. <laughs> no, don't, don't, just put him out of his misery here, Blue. <laughs> don't, don't let him survive. Just put him out of his misery. Don't tell me that Ram goes down. <laughs> well, okay. TC's gonna stay up. Villagers have all gone down, though. It's 47 villagers versus 20. And, of course, Blue would just make more Rams, so whatever. I mean... It's very possible that Red doesn't realize how bad a situation this is. Of course, this game, in order to understand a position in an Age of Empires game, you need to have a lot of experience. And even then, like, the fact that we've never seen a game like this before kind of tells you everything you need to know. Here come archers all of a sudden. So maybe Red still feels like there's a chance, or maybe Red is really frustrated. Or Red is just stubborn. I think it's probably a mix of everything. The crossbows are just camping. And how many people watching on the stream right now and YouTube later on would, would say something to Red at this point? Like, yeah, how about my goats now? You know, maybe not that aggressive, but just be like, even just the 11. I'm just curious. I, if I were streaming this, now granted it's at a higher level, I'd be like, okay, this is griefing at this point. This person will not resign. It's bad manners. But remember, four goats were killed. Four goats were killed. At the start of the game, Blue had to town center his opponent's berries. Okay, some people saying they would. Now, to be fair to Blue, Blue could always just go in and finish this off as well. I think maybe Blue is confused. If Blue sees this and says, well, that's everything. Like, why, why hasn't Red said something? Why is Red not resigned yet? In fact, hold on a second. Okay, red is there. I'm seeing the APM drop. It drops any lower. I'm kind of feeling like red has gone AFK. Which is a sad way to see this end. But let me go back and check here. No, red's there. Red's there. Okay, red's moving. Red's moving something. Let's see if red garrisons, maybe. Crossbows went in, got some kills. <laughs> I mean, there's only three villagers in there. This doesn't matter. And I'm not convinced that Red is even there right now. It, oh, no, he is there. He is there. Oh, and he's got hill forts, and he's ranging the, the tower. I forgot he got that tech. The tech is honestly insane. And Blue calls the GG for him. To be fair, you know, it might just be the respectful way to finish the guy off. And Red says, well played. Very respectful. And the game ends. And my, oh my, oh my. What a game it was. That was the second game these players played together. The first one was nuts. Blue got the better of red. And the second one was nuts. Blue got the better of red. But I mean, this one, people. This one is worth a rewatch. Like... Like five times this week, we need to rewatch this game. Like, what in the world was that? Like, can we can we at least look at the timeline for a second? So, <laughs> just looking at when the age ups happen, <laughs> this is absolutely insane to me. I mean, Blue was able to have the better economy in Feudal Age, despite Red going in. More wood, more food, more gold, more stone. Granted, around this time, it looked like the game was super over anyway, so it makes sense. There's the KD. And if I had a dollar for every house that Red lost to a Ram, I'd be a billionaire. <laughs> like, Blue had a very clear system. We First, we will Ram. That's, that's the basics. Second, we will Ram houses. And we will Ram blacksmiths. And we will ram pretty much any building we can find. TC will take that as well. We'll make infantry. We'll put the infantry inside of our rams. And we'll just keep going. Now, I think poor Red. Uh, Red, I think, doesn't usually get to the point of having a castle. Or at least doesn't have someone that fights on when their castle dropped in the feudal age. And I, I think that Red just doesn't know that Latus are insane. If Red got one or two upgrades on Latus 
and had those relics, this is game over. The feudal age player dies yeah, to siege and latest, but Red just thought, and maybe it was even overconfidence at that stage. I'll go the imperial age, and in the imperial age, I'll make trebs, and trebs are are perfect. Yeah, but wow, that is why we cast Loe the Legends. I don't even know how to tie this one together. Because I feel like the first time they played each other was epic, but it was epic in a different way, and it kind of set the stage for this. Oh, God. And yeah, apparently, Red always plays Lithuanians on Socotra, so there's probably other crazy games to look for, and Blue tends to play Kumans quite frequently. So there probably will be more rematches in the future. There will be more content with these people in the future Ooh, as well. Whew. Now, if we're lucky... They are going to play again. Hey, Tim, thank you for the sub, by the way. I missed that about an hour ago because I was so focused on that game. What an insane game. 